Welcome to Rona's Academy, where all complications in all business related courses are made comprehensible via online means, where we establish the concepts and the principles that will aid you in passing all exams with our ease. So subscribe and become part of the learning family where we learn together and explore Rona's comprehending the complications. Okay, so in this lesson, we are going to solve a practical question on borrowing costs to establish our understanding on specific loans and then on general pool of loans. When you are given such a situation in an exams, how will you go about it? Or in case you are faced with such a question, what are the necessary things or necessary concepts you are supposed to take into consideration? Without wasting my time, let's look at the question on the screen. We were told that PLC Limited in constructing a building which was completed on December 2018. So they started, uh, they started the construction or the construction of what, a building and this building was completed in December 2018. And in doing that, they obtained a loan of $100,000 with a 50% interest. This is a specific loan for that matter. We were also told that after December 2018, we were having a number of pool of what? A number of loans, which is 18%, one 50,000 loans. And then we also have the 14%, 100,000 dollars loan and we were told that we were told how the expenditure of the building okay we were told that on 31st march 2018 60,000 was incurred and in june 2018 80,000 was incurred and then in um, 30th september 2018 the rest of another 30,000 was incurred and during the year they invested part of the specific loans that they acquired part of the specific loan that they had in, into an investment, which gave them uh, that uh, investment portfolio and 9%, but they only invested it for two months. So what amount are we going to capitalize at the end of the period, uh, you know, in as borrowing costs in the books of PLC Limited? That is what we are going to look at. Remember that the specific loan was obtained. So we first deal with a specific loan. Was obtained and then the amount is hundred thousand. And remember that the percentage was fifteen percent. So the loan was obtained and then the percentage was fifteen percent. And then we were told that part of this money, which is forty thousand, which is gaining an interest of nine percent, was invested into, uh, you know, an investment, and it ends. 9% and it was only for two months. That is for the investment income. We were also told that there was a general loan. So the general loans, we were told that a 150,000 loans with 18 percent was obtained so 18 percent was obtained the 150,000 loans with 18 percent was obtained and we were also told that a 100,000 loan with a 14 percent was also obtained now what percentage are we going to use in computing for the borrowing cost under the specific loans and what percentage are we going to use in computing for the borrowing cost under the general pool of loans and how will you go about it what figure will you calculate the percentage on under the general loans? That is what we are going to look at in this particular practical question. Now, here we all know that when we are dealing with specific loans, the percentage to use will be the percentage attached to the loan. We don't have any complications when the loan is specifically taken to finance the construction, acquisition, or production of a qualifying asset. So in this case, the 50% will be used on the specific loan. But when it comes to the general pool of loans, we have to establish a rate that we call 
the capitalization rate. And this capitalization rate will be used in computing the borrowing cost under the general pool of loans. So in this case, how do we establish the capitalization rate? We have to establish the percentages of the, uh, the interest of the individual general loans. We add them together. We find the weighted average of the borrowing cost. Then whatever figure we get at the end becomes our capitalization rate. So in this case, our interest in the first loan is going to be actually um, 27,000. And when it comes there, it's going to be 14,000. If you add this to, we are going to get 41,000 interest on the loan. Therefore, what to be our capitalization rate? Our capital, uh, capitalization rate is going to be the interest of 41,000, all divided by the summation of the two loans, which is 250,000. Remember, multiply by what? 100. And if you do your calculations well, we are going to have the final answer to be 16.4%. So this 16.4% is going to be used in computing for the uh, borrowing cost under the general pool of loans. Right, so getting the 16.4% as the capitalization rate, what amount are we going to capitalize as borrowing cost in the books of PLC Limited? Now let's do our computation from here. Now from the specific loans, before we attach the specific loans, how much was actually gained from the investment that we made on a specific loan? So our investment income in this case our investment income, in this case, is going to be the 40,000 that we invested, the, sorry, the 40,000 that we invested, multiplied by the percentage, which is 9%. Remember that it was only put into the investment for only two months. So in this case, we are going to multiply it by two divided by 12, and this is going to give us 600 dollars. Remember, this 9% is an per annum. And therefore, if he has uh, two months or invested for only two months, we divide the two by what? By the 12. Now, what amount should be capitalized in the books of the entity? So, let's look at the borrowing cost to capitalize. So, borrowing cost to capitalize. To capitalize. Okay. So we have our dollar sign here. So the first one, let's look at our specific loan. Specific loan. We were told that we took $100,000, which was gaining 15%. But when should we start capitalization? Remember that although the loan was obtained on 1st of January 2018, the actual work on the building started on 31st. Is in, uh, 31st March 2018. Therefore, capitalization will start from 1st of April to 31st of um, December 2018. So therefore, capitalization of the, of the borrowing cost will only take nine months, but not one year, because the actual cap, uh, time the work starts. Remember, if you've not watched the video on the theory or the summary of the borrowing cost, you can get it from our previous you know, videos that when should we start capitalization? When the borrowing cost is being incurred, the expenditure on the borrowing cost is being incurred, and all the other activities necessary to bring the asset into its intended use started to be what incurred. So in this case, we can only start capitalization capitalizing the borrowing cost on the um, first of what, April. So in this case, the loan of hundred thousand was obtained, which will give us fifteen thousand interest. But because we didn't start from the first January. We didn't start the, uh, the constructing of the building on the 1st January. We are going to multiply this by 9 divided by what? By 12. And this is going to give us 12,500. 12,000, 12, sorry, it's going to give us 11,250. So 11,250. Remember that this specific loan is gaining us an amount of income. Anytime I do a specific loans, the investment income that we have, we are supposed to lessen from it. So here we are going to less our investment income. Of how much? 600. So if we let this, we are going to get a value of 106. 
by zero. So 10,615 Now let's turn our attention to the general pool of loans. Now the general pool of loans, we can only calculate them depending on the, on the cost that the assets, uh, sorry, the, uh, the business actually incurred in constructing the building. When it comes to the specific loans, we can see that the calculations will turn on the cost or the value of the loan. In the general pool of loans, it's not like that. We have to calculate the percentage on the actual cost incurred on the machine or the qualifying asset. In this case, we were told that they initially incurred 60,000 on 31st March um, 2018. We actually incurred 60,000 on the 31st March 2018. And again, spend 80,000 on 30th June 2018. 30th June. Now, the first 60,000 can be taken care of by the specific loan. So on 30th June, which is 06, 2018, an amount of 800,000 was again incurred. But remember that we've already in spend 60,000 and that 60,000 we can get from the specific loan then you'll be left with what 40,000 and then we again spent 800,000 uh, sorry 80,000 in uh, 30th June 2018 and this 80,000 we can get the 40,000 taken from this so actually we started taking or spending from the general pool of loans amount of what 40,000 so in this place they are going to multiply here the general pool of loans, the general pool of loans, our capitalization rate was 16.4%. 16 so it's going to be 40,000 multiplied by 16.4%. Remember, this is occurring on 30th or 4th June. Therefore, we only account from July 1st to December 2018. In this case, we are going to multiply all these by 6 divided by what? 12. And this is going to give us an amount of 3280. That's 3,208. Then again, we were told that on 30th of September, an amount of 30,000 was again spent. So in this case, we are going to take that one again from the what the general pool of loans, only 30,000. So it was 30th of um of September 2018. September 2018. So in, in this case, only 30,000 multiplied by the 16.4%. Again, remember that September ending. So we are going to just calculate for October, November, and December, which is three months. So in this case, multiply by three divided by what? 12. And this is going to give us an amount of one, two, three, zero. So if you sum all these figures, we are going to get an amount of 15,260. 15,260 and this is the amount you are supposed to capitalize in the books of PLC. So this is the borrowing cost you capitalize in the book of PLC, not any other cost but this one. And remember that this one will be treated as what well, an income in the book because this is an investment income from the specific loan that they have invested. Now, then what amount will be sent to your P or L account as an expense? So remember that the actual expenses or actual interest on the loans are 41,000 and 15,000. So we are going to get 41,000 plus the 15,000 on the specific loans. These two will give us 56,000. This is the actual interest that we have got in care. But how much are we going to capitalize out of this? It is only the 15,000. 260 that we are going to capitalize. This means that the net, again, you will less our investment income from the interest because it will lessen this figure. Because the investment income has reduced this figure. So if you want to do that, you have to add it back to this one and less also. Again, you will less an amount of 600 from this figure. So whatever net figure you get here will be the expenses that we will send straight away to our POL account as well as an expense. So that amount will not be capitalized as part of the cost of the building. But only 15,260 will be captured or capitalized as part of the cost of the building.
So this is just a brief example uh, on uh, borrowing code, that is IES 23. Thank you.